Hi, I'm here to give a few comments to our fourth quarter and full year results of 2023. The fourth quarter was, was a really strong quarter. In our opinion, we saw some good sales numbers. We improved profitability and our financial strength on several accounts. On the top line, we saw subsol growing both Swedish Krona and US dollars. We have seen our operating expenses decline uh, and that result in an improvement of our EBITDA to a positive result in the fourth quarter, which also meant that we met our second half uh, guidance of being positive on EBITDA level. When it comes to operations, uh, the fourth quarter also had some important progress. Uh, for Subsol, we were added to the New Hampshire uh, formulary for Medicaid, which enabled us to expand our Salesforce presence into New Hampshire. We have seen how these market access improvements have significant impact on our sales with strong double digit growth in all of the Medicaid plans we were added to in 22 and 23. When it comes to digital therapies, we also managed to get our two other products, Modia and Vorbida, on the VA formulary federal supply schedule. So it will be reimbursed from January 1st together with the Praxis. We signed up a partnership with a company called Lovell Government Services, who will manage the, the distribution and reimbursement for our digital therapies within the Veteran Affairs. And on our R&D side, we are pleased to see we have received the PEDUFA date and had our file approved for weeks one to four and now are on a good track to get approval during the summer for weeks one to four. Finally, looking a little ahead, based on the strong numbers from the fourth quarter or second half of the year, we have guided of positive EBITDA for, for the year. And that's something we have a lot of focus on right now. So we're focusing a lot on the cost. So we're also guiding lower cost for the year. We expect to subsol maintain where we stay at it's at the same level as we saw for 2023 uh, and finally we're expecting to see a slight market increase of uh, of the subsol market so all in all we are looking forward to to a strong financial 2020 stronger financial 2024 than 2023 and we have some exciting operational or r d opportunities with our pipeline and commercially for both subsol and for our digital therapies thank you